Faye. Faye. Who is it? Who's calling me? I am Har. What is this light? Oh, no, it's Harley. I reside in Zohar. I am the beginning and the end. The first and the last. Harley, wait, so you were God, Dwibs? Yes. yes. God, some would refer me to that. Sorry, as that from a certain point of view, but it is right to view me as such. But at the same time, I am not. I I am also a part of you. Oh, okay. Don't be mind. A part of me? See, I'm, omni, um, I'm omnipresent, so I'm basically everywhere, including inside you. I am defined by how people observe me. You are actually talking to a virtual version of me that you yourself create. I am your perception of me. I don't want to inside me. Can I don't understand out? what you're talking about. Who or what are you? In one word, existence. Uh, a wave existence. Existence. Uh, in actuality, I do not have a physical form. I am an existence of a higher dimension, a place you cannot perceive. But in terms that you understand, it is a world where everything acts as kinds of waves. Mm -hmm. Kinds of that. waves. It is the source of this four-dimensional universe, the place where time and space is controlled, the fluctuating void, the wave existence. Ah, so Why the wave from the Lucario movie. Gotcha. What does such an existence have to do with me? Long ago, a modifier, or a pseudo-perpetual infinite energy engine was created. That engine was named Zohar. That reactor was created by an ancient people from another planet to attain what is considered to be the ultimate energy possible within this four-dimensional universe. <sighs> That was a mouthful. Eventually, those people used the same engine to create the ultimate interplanetary invasion weapon, Deus. Zohar was used as its primary source of power. But the unexpected happened. During the connection tests of Zohar with the newly completed Deus, the engine started to examine infinite potential phenomena. Requiring energy, the engine connected this dimension to the higher dimensional space. As a result, that reactor merged or synchronized with the wave existence in that higher dimension. Me. Me. I descended from the point of contact created by the machine through the path of Sephiroth, or the domain you are in right now, and incarnated in the four-dimensional world. After I advented to the four-dimensional world in order to stabilize myself, I had to exchange or materialize my form and enter into the modifier engine. Also, um, Richard, it's stay whatever. In in other words, I became bound in Zohar, the cage of fleshly existence. Since the time I was bound in Zohar, I have always wanted to return to my own dimension. So, in conclusion, I had to reverse the process I went through to arrive here. I must be released by the one who instilled within me a special feature of this dimension. The will, quote-unquote. That one is you. Decided it was me. A special feature? Yes. I was given a special attribute of a human by you. The contact. When you observed me, I was given a mother's will. A mother's will? A mother's yes, that's will? What I, yes, that's what I just said. I'm sure you remember, after my descent, you had contact with the modifier engine Zohar. Yes, so uh, your mother's will, you know, it she died. She kind of has to make small, one of those. A small, scared child that stumbled into the engine room of the Eldridge as it was crashing. And that's where Ellie was created from. Huh? As a contact, being but only a child, you define my existence with your desire to return to your mother. Thus, I came uh. to prepare the mother's will. That, that, that will is a, a high. You do know he slept with her, right? Draw jo more for the end of a part. Ellie's disposition. Sorry. Ellie positioned me? Yes. My will was incarnated through a biocomputer which was vital for Deus. After combining with me, the biocomputer evolved its functions, and that bio plant generated a central element. That is her. You see, I never declare that you can't do that kind of thing. You guys, you humans decide that on yourselves. I was split <laughs> by your contact. My physical form or flesh stayed in Zohar, while my will went into Eham and my power went into you. That's why I waited to unite with you. And now, it is fulfilled. 
My only remaining desire is to break this cage of fleshly existence. In order to do that, I must become perfect by combining with Adam, as well as my other split physical form, Daedalus. The only way to return to my original dimension is to destroy this physical body. In the four-dimensional world, Zohar is perfect. So in order to destroy Zohar, I need the strength that was attributed to you. Zohar can only be destroyed by the hands of the contact. So what basically, you're the Adelie? only one. If Zohar is destroyed, what will become of Ellie? Well, I guess she's fucked. Zohar and Deus aren't one. She is bound to the system by one another's will to become one with me. In order to release her, it was necessary to destroy the very system that serves as the Deus weapon. So, tough shit. So, so technically, face slept with God also. Yes. Wonderful. However, simply creative. wonderful. It is okay, my child. I love you just as much as anybody else. Originally, her release should have been performed by me. The one who desires to return back to the higher dimension. But I am also bound to the system just as she is. So I am unable to participate. You are the only one who can release her from the spell. Just as theirs and I are inseparable. You and her are also inseparable. He's not, he's only joking even. Alright, I'll destroy Deus and the Zora modifier. And I'll save Ellie. Hmm. You have experienced much loss and deprivation in your life. It is very tragic. Well, thank you. Our contact and the resulting transference of your of power and will between you and I, I most likely play the factor in splitting your personality. Possible. So, I, mean, I disagree. Uh, I can't blame anything or anyone besides myself. Or to dare disagree with God? Regardless of what may have happened in the past, with the passing of time, the cause becomes more remote. It is a problem that comes from within myself that I myself must deal with. Deal with. I see. You yeah, have managed to accept those tragedies, to tolerate all things, to comprehend and find where you stand in this world. The Ubermensch. If you have succeeded to do all of these things, I am sure you will succeed in what awaits you now. To liberate all of us, use the Xeno Gears. Destroy Zohar. Use the Xeno Gears, Faye. With it, Sorry. we will do There's my one. Sorry, could you, could you repeat that? Your calls destroyed. The system is awakening. Ask her later. Weird. Namine? I don't even know who she is. You know, it's weird, though. <laughs> Isn't this the god whom Myung was supposedly doing the duty for? The god oh, seems to... No, no, again, Joe, hold on. And now, thanks to the imbuing of the wave existence and Faye recombining all of his personality, ladies and gentlemen, and waves, 63 parts in, the titular Xenogears. Gundam! So, so dead! Oh. This is, we're still not over yet. Again, see for don't worry. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Dad, are you okay? I got pissed in the stomach. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Pray. You return to your own self. You have become one. I'm taller now. Yes, thanks to you all. If all of you hadn't called out for me. Dad? Don't worry. <laughs> this is good. This is, after all, I... Dead? Oh, you can't die you after we're just reunited. You and I must become one. What? What's going on? I knew it! I knew it! Graphis is dead! Ha, 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 ha. I reached the limit of a body possessed on that day three years ago. <laughs> I required a body that would tie me all time over until your true awakening. Oh my god. That is why I acquired the body of your father. Kind of a complex Regardless plan. Regardless of your awakening, you're merging any inherited memories you have acquired. <laughs> there was no way for you to know this since you had lost your memory at that point. So, uh, at the point in which I merge with your father. So, so impossible. What about Wiseman? What about father? You never had a father. Of course, they were just parts of me. I couldn't hold on to Count totally. His ego was far stronger than I imagined. When my control weakened, he showed himself to you as wise. So does that mean that when he called Faye weak, he walked off, then came back in to encourage Faye after Faye, discouraging Faye. him? <laughs> this body now belongs to me. 
Now I must return to my original body, the reincarnation of my body that you inhabit. Just a quick costume Stop change it. and... Dad! I hear you, Faye. You see, you and I are one. I am Khan. Khan is me. And I'm you Faye. You one with me. So you two should open your heart and unite with me. Open You're your right. heart and it will be alright. And we can go to eliminate everything. As father no, and son. I can't allow you to control me. So, see, Faye's... You and I are the same so in a way that... So, so basically... So Faye's mother was merged with Myung, and Faye's father was merged with Graf. Well, God later damn. on he became. Don't worry, I will explain while the fight is going on. Hmm, protecting your master, then so be it. I'll merge with both you and your machine then. Now come, Faye, fight me. Oh, Fight me, bro. First up. It's no use. I know you're a cannon, but you're a part of me. But that doesn't change you being my father. I could never really fight you. You're so naive. How do you... Why don't you understand that your naivety is what killed Sophia? What killed your mother, Karen? Ah, oh, we're not playing that blame I game I already again. know that. That's why he swore never to run away again. And they must rescue Ellie. So don't get in my way. Wake up! Open your eyes, father! Or Lacan! If that's the case, then fight me! Fight me! Okay... I can't! I see. Then there's no choice. Huh? Since you are so unwilling to fight, I believe I'll have to use them as bait. Oh hey, we're still here! Ball. Have they just been watching this all going on by the yes. side? Yes. Stop it! Don't we have the same memories? Can't you also remember that sadness you felt way back then? Why then? Why must you destroy everything? If we stop Deus, won't this all be over? You still don't understand, even after your contact with the existence. I came to understand after my contact with the existence that even if Deus was destroyed, as long as humans still inhabit this land, Myang, Elohim, will be born time and again. Then all living things may as well perish along with Deus itself. That's the only path to freedom. That's right, just like Caius Ballad. The path will release us from the eternal cycles of life, the tragedies of history, and the spell of fate. So Once I... a wicked Deus is a weapon, I'll obliterate all living things. Then I'll use your wicked self and that machine to return everything to nothing. That's what I conclude. So it's Young and Elaim are not just Deus mouthpieces. That woman is its main body. You see, Faye, you've known only one Young. I've known hundreds of them. Oh, and God. Of them too. She gave her life for me by shielding me from harm. Her eyes were in Myang's. Mother came back at the last moment. Mian, Mother, even Ellie, we're all humans born on this planet. Deus doesn't matter. Mian kind of just got out of dodge. <laughs> yeah. You see, you will see. I'll bring Ellie back. Father, no, Graf. Lacan, if you won't back down. Never. Then I am no choice. The time has come to truly become one. So, I'm a bit confused. Final wasn't... fight against Graf, yes. Wasn't... But, uh, j j just to mention quickly, um, while he still has the same moveset that he did during the path of, path of Sephira, he has been, again, rebalanced because you're supposed to win this fight, but it's still not a piece of cake. But uh, in true tradition, Faye now has a gear imbued with the power of God, so he's the bustiest that there ever is. <laughs> That's he's actually beautiful. pretty cool. God, yes, he no, has no. the power of God and anime on his side. Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joba? Uh, weren't Faye and his father in the same cockpit, though? Seeing as how they kind of implied that Graf was holding him up by the neck, but now yes, they're uh, in different mechs. In showcase, the Xenogears actually pulled Faye back. That well, basically, was a bit unclear, but okay, fine, fair. Um, so basically what you're saying, Teo, is... Take the Zido Gear Spade. With it, you will do my wonders. Basically. So basically, um, so so I was right. All those parts back when I thought that 
Graf was Faye's father when you compared him to Darth Vader. You were correct, Jova, but again, like you said, it wasn't that this simple. It wasn't just of a matter course, of, oh, yeah. he was still the father. It was a case where he body served, and not even from the accident that created it, mind you. Remember, it was three years ago, so that uh, anime cutscene that we saw way back then in part five, I think, um, that Faye, remember, had uh, it in a catatonic state, uh, and... Uh, Khan mentioning to Graf, um, I will not let you have it, uh, have him, sorry, even if it kills me. Um, and he meant that. That meant that Graf eventually defeated Khan, body served into him, and then the two personalities kind of conflicted, thus the emergence of wise men. Um, the game never never tells if what Wiseman told about an actual being, an existing person that was friend with Khan, is truth or something that he fabricated. But keep in mind that the people in Shabbat did not, uh, including Gaspar, who was supposed to be the the, the, um, the teacher, the mentor of both Khan and Wiseman, never refuted this, uh, ideally. So it makes me, my personal interpretation is that Wiseman was an actual real person that potentially maybe passed away at some point. And when uh, Khan became, um, got uh, absorbed into Graf, he uh, decided to use that as a, you know, as a cover up. Uh, for the sake of, you know, uh, contacting Saul. Give it up, man. The future is now. All right. Why don't you finish me off? Hey, guys. If you don't get rid of me, then you cannot get what you want. Guys, should we have helped Faye during that fight? It's all right, Dad. I understand. You are not Graf. You are my father. You and Graf are one. Your will and purpose never change. This is I knew that fight once we control. fought. Uh, yeah. But let's stop now. Our objective should be the same. It's the same as our becoming one. We don't have to fight. We just have to work together instead of psychotically merging. <laughs> what? My body... Oh, you cheater! So war is after you, the last piece to combine with the system. Uh-oh. It seeks to unify with you, the first to have been divided from it. Sacrifice time. What? This is what Lacan wanted all along. After all, I have an imperfect existence. And anything imperfect should be smashed. It was inevitable when it would come to this, considering what had happened in the past. Lacan's imperfect secondary contact with the wave existence split his personality into two. Eventually, his body died, but the original Lacan transmigrated, bringing the destiny of becoming a contact with him. He was reborn as your present body. The remaining persona, just his desires, lived on separately by possessing the bodies of others. That is Graf. That is me. I may have inherited Lacan's will, but I'm not the same as the contact Lacan. It's impossible for me to make real contact. That will be no true melding and release. Basically, body surfers be crazy, yo. Yeah. Even though our bodies may be different, I'm still half of you. That fact remains. Although I'm imperfect, I can merge temporarily with Zohar and thus may be able to buy you some time. Uh -oh. This is the only way I can be one with you. This is all I can do. The system will start to look for you again. Before that, you have to destroy the newly perfected Deus and this Zohar modifier. You are the only one that can destroy the physical pair with the Jesus God's body. Hey, can you let my dad go first dad. so that he doesn't die? As you said, that was Karen. Through many generations, Young is beginning to break free from her pounds. Now that Helaim has merged with Deus, she has all of her memories back. Oh, great. All the memories from her original birth as the context complement of to her current transmigration. That includes all of the lives she has lived as Myang and her substitutes over the centuries. And of course, that includes your mother's memories too. Mother's memories? Hey, cut away all the binds of mankind! You should be able to do that now! Save her and all the other women bound with her! So pretty much every woman I'm in existence. You, 
Isn't this a great family reunion? You finally reunite with your dad, only to see him and die. And with that, the Graf and his true Veltal are no more. All that remains Wait, now what? is just Deus. And you already do reunion with parents, but then suddenly die. <laughs> <sighs> What's this? Also, hi, Bart. remember him by. This pendant. Hey, Faye. This Sophia's or my mother's. It's nothing. I'm just talking to myself. Hey, where's you your... know what? I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused everyone. Thank you all so much. Anyway, let's get going. There is little time left now for me and for our planet. Hey, where's Emerald? She was here too. I don't know what happened. Uh, we <laughs> need got a... oh, Emerald <laughs> just <laughs> cannot <laughs> win. Hold on. What is this place? This is where it all started. This is our genesis. We know humans were born here. Long ago, Deus crash landed on this planet in an interplanetary colony ship, the Eldridge. In order to retrieve, drive itself someday, Deus detached the Zor modifier's core. After this core unit came down here, a single woman awoke and arose from out of it. She's the mother of all humanity. After she awoke, she used all the powers to bear several beings. These will become the ancestors of the whole of humanity. These were the Emperor and the Gazelle Ministry. Finally, she gave birth to replicas of herself to be humanity's caretakers. Two cells, the human mother and the weapon. Mm. The subject and the complement. That is Ellie and Miang. I, the sole survivor from the colony ship, met Ellie, and uh, everything started from there. The land of Genesis, Karomoni. This is that place. They're literally Adam and Eve. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah. Faye, wouldn't that make you our ancestor? Even Kinda. with your shared fate with Deus, why do you have such ancient memories? Usually human memories cannot be passed down for the generations. Humans do not normally have the ability to compress and store memories in their introns. So should I be calling you great 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 granddad? Ellie and I and Myung are different. Due to our connection with the wave existence, that is, due to Zor's ability to change possible phenomena, we can clearly store data in our introns. In other words, we can leave behind memories to be inherited by our descendants. Just as the wave existence is bound inside of Zohar, the information is affixed to me, so to speak, by some of the power of wave existence. If you say so. Again, where the hell did that other one go? I know, poor oh. Amaralda. What's this then? This is the form from when Ellie and Yang were still one being. Oh. This is the first woman of our world. Oh, was. Well, yeah, she has seen better days. Our mother. Yeah. There's a lot to unpack, but unfortunately, the part's not over yet because now the party is united. We need to do something against Deus. So. Oh, hi, everyone. So, <laughs> it's been a while. If we destroy that Zohar thing, everything will be over, right? We can go back to our normal lives. Yes, the source of our ether powers and the source of power for the generators that make our gears work. It all comes from the Zohar modifier engine, which can control any potential phenomena. If we destroy it, Deus and the Seraph Angels, all will be deactivated. And then we should also be able to free Ellie, who has become bound to the Deus weapon system as Nyang. Right, Faye? Yep, yeah, that's what the Wave Existence said. Let's go with this then. And there is the downside. To be fair, we don't really have any release. It will also mean that we'll no longer be able to use our gears or our E for powers anymore. I think that's arm. a nice price uh, to pay. Oh, guys, what are those Seraph Angels all about anyway? That odd appearance as if they lack something. As if they were neither living beings nor... Oh, but, oh crap, I had two lines in a row! <laughs> so our sense is the human consciousness and incarnates the Seraphs. Huh, human consciousness? Am I gonna get a line? <laughs> Zohar itself involves the principle of uncertainty. The observer's perception of Zohar determines the entity it actually becomes. 
In other words, I believe that those angels are incarnations of the spirits of people. The people who have been absorbed by Deus to become parts of it. So what merit is there for them to gain in eliminating all of civilization? So we can start again. Is there some kind of hatred for those humans who have survived? Of course not. Those people who were created and assimilated as parts for Deus would not have such intentions. Try to remember what Ellie, when she became young, said. Fuck you all? Well, uh, after that. The creation of God before, will someday... That. The creation of God will someday be a hindrance. That is why they must be eliminated. Yes, that is why Merkava was being used to begin the destruction. But Deus is not following its programming of exterminating all of civilization. The Seraphs, which are terminal interface weapons of Deus, are using their bodies composed of nanomachines to absorb massive numbers of people regardless of whether they are dead or alive. <laughs> It is not discriminating between the mutant and non-mutant people. This is highly peculiar. There, that's the last of the Karani exposition. Thank you very much. <laughs> the fact that the people who are meant to be destroyed are being taken in as well. That is the absolute opposite of what it is supposed to be doing. Maybe if there aren't enough parts? Hmm. That is unlikely. Aside from those bodies that were destined to be parts of it... Deus, who has already acquired the abilities of the nanomachines, can just about use any material to construct its body. It is obvious. It has other intentions in mind. Those intentions. Krillin has called Deus the mother. If God is the mother, then those motives are coming from the great mother, impeding the growth of its child, enveloping it, to bring the child back to the womb, to become one with it. Reverse birth. That is its motive. Such a program does not exist within its design, though. He was probably given this unique will by someone, either from Ellie, who has merged with the Deos, or... Uh -huh. Either way, it doesn't change the fact that we have to fight. Either Regardless way. of what the intentions are, the problem is how we're supposed to deal with them. Think we can do it in our current state? Without our Omnigus? This secret battleship, Excalibur, also take part in the final battle. Additionally, the military potential of all the surface forces will be assembled. Huh. Even if we can put together a massive force, we still have the problem with the main armament of the Merkava. We need to know how to take that out. As long as we don't do that... Merkava's ultra-long-range cannon has the ability to vaporize any substance. On top of that, they have a barrier around their perimeter that nullifies all attacks. We fought against the Merkava many times to try to stop its onslaught. However, we cannot even get close. Hence, we have to withdraw every time. <sighs> Damn it! No matter how much we want to save Ellie, if we can get inside the Merkava, it's meaningless. Just well, punch the air if part of your arm being cut off. To add to that, there is problems of old Seraphs. They function as the terminal interface's weapon for close defense. Seriously, it looks like half his arm got cut off. Can't easily <laughs> save when the attack power is equivalent to the Omnigear class. Also, I see good, it's been a while. <laughs> they even have the regenerative ability due to the nano machines. <sighs> Don't be concerned about that. Be not concerned about you, me. I was able to obtain some data from Xenogears. You see, Xenogears has mutagenically evolved due to its contact with Zohar. Using that data, all your new gears ought to be completed soon. Additionally, all the other weapons and armaments are being modified to implement the Dismember Disassembler. Disassembler device. Basically, all you, you get all your Omni Gears back with this. But now they're Xeno Gears! <laughs> Well, they still look like the, the Omni Gears that they have. Omni Xenos. The disassembler that you mentioned is the, essentially your excuse to how you're able to fight the angels because your gears are not able to decompose the nano machines. Hmm, much merchandise in the name Xeno Gears we could make. Possibly even a TV series or All right. a video game. Even if we can deal with the angels, just how are we gonna deal with that Merkava? We can't even get close to the thing. Hmm. Cheetah has a plan, however. There is no such thing as a perfect defense. There is a way. This is the way. Alright, let's hear your brilliant defense. idea. 
Yeah. Oh, now you want to hear my brilliant idea. Okay. Well, let's uh, pray yeah, it's one of your brilliant one, ideas. For, no, no, no. That's the thing. I want to trust completely cheat on this one. Let's see what happens. Rakava's main gun requires a 1.2 second interval to reload because of its tremendous output. Upon firing, although it is only sectional, there will be a portion of the barrier that will be opened. There is a 1.87 second delay before the barrier reforms in that area. If we can use this window of time to target and destroy that cannon, it will be possible to close in on it. Oh, so it's like in A New Hope. Okay. Kind of. Um, <laughs> if we can get close enough, we can break through with gravitational spatial correction. Well, this is the rough idea. Got that? Ow. Unfortunately, we don't have such a long range cannon. Hmm. That could acquire targeting in such a brief time frame. Hmm. So what you're saying is we just need to shut that annoying cannon up, right? Can I do uh, it? Don't give Bart the bad idea. No, Marie. You want to go head on into Merkava? Yes. Uh. It's that simple. Okay, now you're being reckless again. That's suicide. No, listen, we're not going to just rush in guns blazing. The Yggdrasil 4, oh god, it's, we're up to 4 now, and this Escalibur are equipped with barriers. Hmm, although only for a short time, we can withstand a direct hit from Merkava's main cannon. Then, we can close in and watch for that part of the barrier to go down and then destroy the cannon. How long will our barrier last? Uh... Um, about 20 or so seconds. That's all? <laughs> what a matter of fact we fly. Hey, oh, come on. The time will be without a bear before we can get within firing range. The world better And those numbers are by only if regenerate is at full drive, right? You can only get those numbers if you sacrifice all of our output and propulsion. Well... I'm not suggesting we go in with guns blazing, knowing we're gonna lose. We're going to physically put a lid on it! Directly! Uh? Haha, <laughs> as you've said, the Yggdrasil 4, or Excalibur's barrier, can't sufficiently defend against Merkava's attack. Richard, it's with you, not the E. <laughs> At least with one generator, that is. Meaning... Almost Meaning, we can defend against the Merkava with twice the amount of time! 40 seconds! If we couple the two generators together, this way we can make it into the heart of Merkava! Then what about the propulsion? Sorry. Just hear me out. <clears throat> I was talking, Master. Engage on screen, please. I love how these Main displays come up whenever on. somebody needs them. This is what we do. First, we transform my Yggdrasil into a heavy assault mode and lead it onto the Excalibur so we can couple the generators. Power Rangers Transformer style. By doing that, we can reduce the energy usage down to just supporting the hull of the ship and generating the barrier. This will allow most of the energy to be devoted to generating the barrier. Oh Next, my god. shift the barrier to full front and focus it into a single point where their main cannon will make it strike. Hey, and Deji, that's what they did in the final episode of Season Musashi. 1 of Musashi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, for movement, first off, we develop a barrier by engaging Excalibur's generator to maximum power. For propulsion during that time, we'll install on the Yggdrasil those very large solid rockets we got. From the Mars driver. When Excalibur's barrier expires, we'll use the Yggdrasil 4's generator to develop a barrier. Then, we'll also detach the solid rockets and shift the Excalibur into conventional flight. And uh, Evangelion also has a tactic like this. It seems yeah. to be very common for mecha animes. Using this method, we can get right in Merkava's face. After it fires, it'll be defenseless. During this time, we'll block the muzzle of Merkava's cannon with the Excalibur's bow ram. Upon which we should have uh, 0 0.67 Zero. seconds. Jesus. <laughs> Simple, right? With the cannon fire of the Excalibur, we'll destroy the Yggdrasil 4's slave generator and incapacitate the Merkava along the way, and then we break through! It's as simple as that. That's what the plan is all about. Why is Chucho on the pilot seat? Chucho's driving. 
for some godforsaken reason. Well, somebody needs to drive this ship. You guys are all yeah, talking. I was gonna say. <laughs> the timing of the cannon fire. Mess up any one of those, and the consequences are going to be severe. Hence, it'll be necessary to have both crews in sync with each other. That's why um, I'd like to put Sig in command of the Excalibur. I will hold with that. Richard? What do you think, Queen? Will you lend us your battleship? No! Since there appears to be no other alternative, let us go with that. Please Almost use it as you see fit. Almost done with this translation, then I can go home to my family. But we are not cutting it out of comfortable clothes. When you calculate the arrival time and the barrier generator mission time, you will see what I mean. One minor mishap will put us in a situation where we could run out of barrier power before our arrival. Also, we won't be devoting both triangles to keeping the barriers up. Won't that leave us without perimeter defenses? Mm -hmm. Don't stand a chance if we get engaged by the Seraph Angels on our way to Mercara. That's what the gears are for. We'll hold them off. You can count on us. You guys just concentrate on taking out the main cannon. Thanks. We're depending on you. Let's just pray that Deus has never seen any Already, anime and every, doesn't know what our plan else is. Everywhere else has been taken out. This is the only place that's left. This is going to be our the true final battle. Crap, so everyone else are is dead. Are you ready? Well, remember, Merka by me a part of a giant big fuck you over destroyed part of the world. You will see better. We set out to silence God's Ark, Merkava, which was the epitome of all things and defensive power, and then storm inside it. We initiated the operation to destroy Zohar. Oh yeah. And then the ship blew up. And by the way, if I call correctly, actually no, no, it's for later, my bad. So we get another FMV. Remember, we're using now the um, the giant gear that uh, that we we discovered from uh, um, from Kislev's palace. Uh, let's see. For now, it's working at least. So far, the so plan is going to go accordingly. Right. Watch as I set up this on giant target. Uh, I'm so stay close. Stay on target. Uh, Hold it. Look it up. Hold it. Right, God, you know what happens at the end of that bit, right? <laughs> there we go. Now I get off my giant. Hey, there we go. Man. The battle station piloted by Elan Vari. There you go. Uses the Excalibur as a fucking sword. That is glorious. Anime as all hell. As long as Deus hasn't seen anime, she won't know what we've got planned. And there you go. We sacrifice that to 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 fire through the barrier. Basic webs here's uh, Richard at this point. Well, I was only have a couple more uh, uh, hours, and then I can go back to home to my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, mission accomplished, right? No, it's not well, that Well, okay, easy. It, it, seems, it seems we're doing the job a little too well. No. It was all part of the plan. Uh, I'm not sure about it. I mean, did that plan involve ship falling into sea? That can't be. A secondary explosion? What in tarnation? Hold on, I cheat and explain. Oh no, I should have known better. What a miscalculation. Cheat. Cheat. And... The explosion was too big. It reacted with the main condenser right under the main cannon. It induced a secondary explosion. How could I have been so and stupid? This is why, Cheat, and we don't trust you. <laughs> you mean we overdid it? <laughs> I made a mistake. So okay? you're telling me the one time our plan goes accordingly, we accomplish it, it just too, too well. well. <laughs> this means we might have. Oh no, Ellie! Oh, oh my gosh, Ellie! Really? <laughs> <laughs> what is it this time? Hey, Chitan, what more is going to happen? <laughs> I look. I tried my best. Chitan, okay? Chitan, if happen. we die, I'm going to kill you. So, Merkava, in one last moment, uh, you know, 
there you go, crashes onto the planet and Deus has one last trick, sort of. One last big fuck you to the planet. Oh, great! Uh, Giving the planet cancer. Oh, kind of. An it, it, it creates this angelic outer form and then uses the power to start terraforming the planet into a coating ice. So, so yeah! Everyone else is screwed. Well, they, they will be if we don't do something about it, well, so... I guess I that. done screwed up! Hey, hey Tio! Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey Tio, hey Tio, I guess this is one of those cases where we can't really go and do side quests because, well, given how the second time, person the reacts... the earthquake and shook, and from the location where the Merkava crashed, a giant object appeared. Hashtag thanks, Sheetan. It was Deus' final form. The Merkava was merely its vessel. They used to evolve through the use of Kraken's nano machines into a planetary scale weapon and began terraforming. I mean, I mean, I mean, face telling us this now. was attempting to convert this entire planet into a weapon. We retreated back to the base at the Snow Plains to form a new strategy. We decided to go back into Deus. Time was running out for I us. Mean, and that, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, is the final chair. Uh, exposition. From I this mean, point on, it's all presented uh, in real time. I mean, we know uh, we know they succeed because uh, Faith telling us all this after the fact. Unless Not she's exactly. saying it from well, the we, afterlife. We don't, we don't really know entirely because the game's not over yet. It's an inner monologue. Uh, okay, Not to so... mention this, remember, those, uh, those chair monologues were made out of necessity rather than an actual artistic choice by Takahashi, so... So... Let me wait for the... Hold on, in the meantime, give me a second. The artwork of the day are two, actually. One, concept art for graph where, um, there you go, Takashi and the others blatantly admit that it was actually based on Darth Vader. They don't even hide it anyway. Uh, and one about the mother of all mankind, that uh, the woman that we saw in the beginning, FNV. That was it. Uh, um, that was neither Myung nor Ellie, an entity that combined it together. But you were right on that point, Jova. Um, Abel, Abel, and the first Ellie were the, you know, the Adam and Eve of the world, which makes uh, Myung essentially Lilith. Um, in case you don't know, Lilith is an apocrypha character, um, the first attempt that God had in creating, um, you know, a companion for Adam. It didn't really work out, and thus did it would be essentially became a high-ranking demon, sometimes in the shape of a serpent. If anything, a lot of apocrypha books um, have the serpent of the Genesis being Lilith rather than being directly a form of a devil um, and acting in her acting out of jealousy. And this is reflected in the game. What has happened is that because of her contact with the Zohar, the little child then, uh, which had a name, but we don't know, it was essentially conveniently renamed Abel because it was too little to understand, was the sole survival of the crash landing uh, Eldridge. Everyone else died, uh, yeah, between the self-destruction and the Deus exterminating the escape pods, as we saw in the initial FMV. Um, the Zohar quickly constructed, uh, using the biological system of Persona, um, a figure that will act as the proper companion to the to the young child once he would have been able to grow up. Not in a sense that he created essentially like a barber figure and then waited there. It was more a case of down to scale. Um, and in case you're wondering, yes, the patterns were based ideally on what was Abel's mother, which as we saw in the, as we at least it was very hinted in the initial FMV, she was also the daughter of the captain of the Eldridge, meaning that Abel was kind of like the, the nephew, the, the grandson of, uh, of the captain. After that, it was, um, it was kind of a bit chaotic because essentially after that, the, the ministry was created with Emperor Kane. Um, and because Faye was the contact, uh, also in you know, were deemed as basically heretics and got uh, hunted down. Um, and ever since, their essence have been incarnated uh, through the ages. Um, a couple of times, uh, mind you. The only ones that we do know are the one in the Zebway Mera and the one with Sofia Lacan. But I can, that I can actually elaborate more in, uh, in a couple of parts. So join us instead in the next one where Instead, we start dedicating style to, well, okay, we, we actually uh, explore the last remnants uh, of mankind in the, the crashed uh, site of, uh, um, of Shevat. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.